A week ago, Proposition 13 promoter Howard Jarvis recorded a television announcement for the Republican gubernatorial candidate in California, Attorney General Evel Younger. I believe we all owe Evel Younger a debt of gratitude for successfully defeating the legal challenge to invalidate Proposition 13. Mr. Younger prepared a brilliant brief in defense of 13. Since Evel Younger had supported the tax-cutting Proposition 13, and since both Jarvis and Younger are Republicans, the Jarvis announcement wasn't surprising. What was surprising was that four days later, Jarvis recorded another television spot for Democratic Governor Jerry Brown. Some people didn't believe me when I said Proposition 13 would work, but I knew it would, and I knew Governor Brown was the man who could make it work. What makes the Jarvis statement even more surprising is that Governor Brown fought hard to defeat Proposition 13, predicting the loss of hundreds of thousands of jobs if the measure passed. Here's what Jerry Brown thought of Proposition 13 six months ago. Uh, it, it takes too much out of the public sector, seven billion, which would jeopardize our bonds, our fire department, our police, our schools, uh, our other programs. And this is what Howard Jarvis thought of Jerry Brown six months ago. I don't think he knows anything about, the t about taxation. I don't know, I'm not sure how much he knows about anything else. Once Proposition 13 passed, Governor Brown became an ardent supporter of the tax cut. So successful has Brown been in his political turnabout that a recent poll indicates that a large number of California voters now believe that Brown was a major force in support of a tax reform measure. As for Jarvis, today in Washington, where he's now promoting a national tax reduction movement, Jarvis said he hadn't really endorsed either man, that both asked him to record spots, and so he did. After all, I can't work with non-incumbents to get 13 implemented. And I've got to play the game. I've got to, got to be smarter than the pol political game because i got to fool both sides, you know? <laughs> of such stuff is the world of politics made. Don Harris, NBC News, Los Angeles.